My friends, I have been wanting to show you all of my 16 pan palettes and the nine pan palettes that LA Girl has with their new formula. It's not new now, it's probably more like a year and a half old, but this is a phenomenal eyeshadow formula. And I also wanna kick this video into a dupe video. Let's do this right now. Hello, my friends. We're going to be swatching all of my 16 pan palettes from LA Girl. Anastasia, Natasha Denona, Huda Beauty. Those are my high-end eyeshadows that I absolutely love, but I'm going to be comparing these to some of them. We're going to start with one that I have loved for a long time. This was my number one palette years ago, and that's the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. This is such a beautiful palette in the way that it's laid out. It has the most gorgeous colors. I absolutely love this palette. I love the formula. I love the metallics on it. They're just beautiful. But I realize that not everybody can afford $65. So I wanted to show you this one, but I wanted to show you what I believe is a dupe for it. And I'm not going to take the time to swatch everything. I will show you samples uh, in each of the LA palettes. But take a look at these two palettes next to each other. Aren't they just so close? This, I've done a look with this. I will try to link that video below for you. But I also want to show you swatches of this one in its entirety. I forget how hard it is to do swatches, but I do want to show you all of these. It is, um, for me, I don't know why I'm swatch challenged, but I certainly am. So while I'm doing that, Ollie is pulling his blanket over here so he can lay down with me. And then I'm going to show you the last two. Here's the last two of this palette. Beautiful palette, just absolutely gorgeous. These up here are the lighter colors that you can hardly see, but it really truly is such a pretty palette. The metallics are beyond beautiful. This one I definitely feel like is a dupe for the Huda Beauty one. Let me talk just a second about the formula before we move on to the next one. The metallics in here are just beautiful, gorgeous metallics. They are super buttery, but the mattes in here are what stand out to me. The fact that you can just put your finger in there and you get this super saturation of color. And honestly, they are just, they're gorgeous. And that matte formula is so blendable and it doesn't ever crease on me. I love it so much. By the way, we better tell you what this one is called. LA Girl Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette. I do know that several of these are still available on Ulta. And also I will link for you the ones that you can only find at LA Girl on their website. And then there are a few that you can get on Amazon and a couple other places. So I will search around for the best price for you guys before I link these. The next one that I'm going to show you is the Hot Heat one. And this is the Aloha Vibes. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colored palette. And when I opened it and I started kind of comparing it to the Huda Beauty one, it really does have a lot of colors. This is the Mercury Mercury in retrograde. I don't know why I'm so tongue tied today, but I am. This pa These two palettes have so many similarities. The little pops of color, the beautiful pinks and a little bit of purple with the blue in there. And they just are very, very, very similar. Personally, I don't like the formula of this one as much as I like the new nudes, but I do have it and I have been reaching for this one over it so many more times. So okay, a little bit better swatches this time because I held my arm right while I was doing it, but these are incredibly beautiful shadows. I love the pops of color in this one and I love being able to do a more springtime, summertime look with this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I also really like that they put the light color in here, the very light cream color in here. And I love that they also did the black in here as well, because then you can, you know, work with the other colors. You can deepen them, you can blend them. And I just think that they're so pretty. This color right here is probably one of my very favorites to wear on my lid. It just catches the light and it's just so pretty. Also want to talk to you about the packaging. Heavy duty packaging. It is plastic. It feels very luxurious. And the other thing is that it has a great mirror in. The mirror is the size of this. It's no distortion. They're great mirrors. As a matter of fact, I was using my palettes a little bit too much to do my makeup because the mirror is so good in here. And I ended up breaking one or two of them, which you're going to see in a second. But I used them that much for a mirror too. And I love that. Okay. Now I want to show you the Norvina palette 
from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. I think it's just gorgeous. It's one of those palettes that I believe just works so well for people. Again, we have the little pops of color, but we have a ton of the neutrals. Gorgeous metallics. If you've ever worked with Anastasia metallics, you know that they are beautiful But here is one of the little nine pan palettes from um, LA girl and these are the keep it playful and this one is the playtime one Yes, it's the playtime one So even though you can see that they're not exactly because these are kind of grouped together You're gonna look at that and go well that doesn't look like it But there are colors that are split apart in here that are these two colors right here And if you look at them really closely, you can see that they really look close closely to these colors right here. And I just love that. Now, I know that this palette has a lot more colors than this one, but if you were to take the other Playful palette, this one is in Playmate, and you were to put these two palettes together, and then you showed this one, now we've got more colors. So really, these are just gorgeous. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So here are the two Keep It Playful palettes swatched on my arm. Again, you know, you'd spend, I don't know, I think they're like 11 each. You'd spend $22 on all of these shadows. And oh my goodness, the quality to me, personally, it's so much better than Anastasia or Huda. Remember the Natasha Denona Love palette? This is a gorgeous palette. It has some beautiful colors in there. But when I'm looking through mine, this palette that I'm going to show you is called the Break Free palette. This one is called This Is Me. Check it out. Those are so close. They have so many of the same colors. I love the pan size on this one. I love the way that it looks. I, I like them both, but honestly, I reach for this LA Girl one so much more. And here is the Break Free palette, all swatched for you. I love these colors on the lid. They're so pretty. A couple of them are duo, duo chrome in here, and you just can't go wrong. Now, if you love mauves, pinks, purples, this is gorgeous. It's not really got a lot of purples in it, I should just say mauves and pinks. It's really, really beautiful. I also did want to show you really quickly the original um, Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. That can also be used as a dupe for this, or this one can be used as a dupe for this one. And that one is the Pro Mastery palette. So that one is really close as well. And the other one that's very close to it too, and yes, this lid is off. This one is the Hot Heat, and this is Vacay Every Day. So really close to it. And I'll go ahead and I'll swatch this one for you. So again, Vacay Every Day. This one is very earthy, but it it still has that edge of having the plums in it and I like that so much. This one was the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. I reach for this palette all the time. I think some of the colors are so pretty. They also came out with this one from the Keep It Playful or yeah, keep it playful. And this is the downplay. And this one, if you had this one and then the other one that I swatched that has a little bit of the warmer colors in it, you would have this palette completely. Keep so in mind that I know that these aren't exact dupes, but what I'm telling you is that I feel like because of the quality and how they blend and how they look on my eyes, I feel that they're every bit as good. And I love, love, love this formula. And I can't say enough good about it. This is one of my favorite palettes and I do reach for this um, for an everyday look all the time. Yes, it's looking really vibrant, but hand swatches are much more vibrant than what you use actually on your eyes. And this silver taupe color right here, wow, so beautiful on your eyes. When it came out, I did decide to pick up the new Natasha Denona palette. This is the Zendo palette that just came out. And yes, I do like it. I think it has some beautiful looks in there that you can create. And I love the different colors and how she's kind of set that up. I think it's really pretty. Sorry about the kind of reflect on there. But I think that you can definitely create it with some of these other ones. Obviously, they're not going to be identical. But I do feel like this, um, this one is the Pro Artistry palette. That has a lot of the colors in it. And then if you wanted to pick up two, you could do the main stage and that one has some of those blues in there. So let me start by swatching the artistry one. Amazing color scheme on this one. You have your neutrals, you have your pops of color, you've got green and blue in there and they are so vibrant. 
I really love this silver that's right down here. Again, it's got a little bit of brown in it, silver. And then this one up here that is the cream, that's the metallic, so pretty on the lid. And wow, these are just, they're gorgeous. So the next one I'll show you is that main stage one and I'll swatch that one for you. This is so pretty and so springy. And so here is that one swatched for you, Desert, Desert Dream, and it's so beautiful. This is called Backstage. And again, the colors on it, holy Moses, look at those beaming beautiful, that whole line right here, so pretty. The Too Fierce and Wild palettes I love, and this one is the Untamed, I think, yes. And again, that's why I was using the mirror so much, but look at how pretty those are. Aren't those gorgeous? And I will go ahead and swatch these for you. This Fierce and Wild one has some really earthy, really beautiful browns in it. And it's um, not a warm palette, but it's not cool palette a cool palette either. So you've got that kind of a neutral look right there. Again, see ya, Ollie. <laughs> He's bouncing around. I love this. I love that these metallics are a little bit lighter, but they're so pretty still. And you and now he's got his toy and he's coming to see me. So I just really think that this one is beautiful as well. And again, that one is the Untamed Fierce and Wild. This is the Instinct one, a beautiful, beautiful palette. I don't know why I didn't swatch them before with all of the other ones, but beautiful palette. It has really a lot of neutrals in it, tons of neutrals. And then you have these warms. This is the only color in here that I haven't tried. I just can't get myself to be adventurous enough to try that bright mustard color, but it is pretty and it's very saturated and they did it well. And I really love that these don't get patchy either. And then our our last one is the VIP Desert Dream palette and there are all the colors. It's one that's quite newer to me, but I just don't find myself reaching for it because of all of these warm colors right through here, but they're still gorgeous and I do still love all of the lighter colors over here. Even this light yellow over here, I do like that as well when I'm looking for a really springy look, but the quality is the same. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you my whole entire collection. That is the whole thing, but I wanted to show you everything so that you could decide if there was one in here that you might want, and you could see how well they do dupe all of those other palettes. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these palettes swatched. That was a lot, I know, but I hope that you got a chance to hang with me and that you did enjoy it. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know if you have a favorite in all of these, or if you have noticed that you really like the quality or you don't like the quality let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you in the in the comment section below. Thanks everyone for being with me. Love you to death and I'll catch you in my very next video. Bye friends.